On this episode of Game Shack, I'm going to give you guys three reasons why Arcade 1UP might give us a 20-game multi-cab in the future. In fact, I think they might give us four of them. Coming up next. Hey everybody, it's JDV here for EvilGeniusEntertainment.com. Thank you for stopping by the Game Shack. It really does mean a lot to us. If you haven't already, please check out episode six of Reanimated, the latest episode of our zombie series. It's a pretty good one. And we should have episode seven, the season finale, should be up sometime around June 1st, so you can have some summertime zombie fun. Okay, so not a whole lot of news since the last video I posted regarding the Shack XL cab, although I guess technically it's not an XL cab, it's just Shack cab. Anyway, there seems to be um, not a whole lot of interest uh, in that cab, I think mostly based upon uh, the screen being the same one from the Golden Tea Cab and the questionable artwork on the sides and of course the fact that you don't get any more games than you do in the NBA Jam game, the original game from Arcade 1UP and I saw a bunch of those on sale for $200 on Facebook today so charging $700 for a, a cab that's not that much bigger and maybe not even better at least in terms of screen maybe a questionable move. And that got me to thinking again about the possibilities of Arcade 1UP giving us a multi-cade type cab down the line. In fact, I think if they'd ever do that, they would be somewhat like the legacy cabs and that they might actually give us three or four different multi-cade cabs. And there's three big reasons why I think they might do this. One. Number one is the aforementioned Shack, uh, the T2, the Simpsons. We've seen a lot of these higher end $650 to $700 cabs that only have one or two or three games on them fall right on their face and seeing the MSRP being slashed by almost half on some of these games. I think I saw a Simpsons cab brand new for sale for $300, $350. Uh, for sure, T2 is down to, I think, 500 brand new from places. I'm starting to see that now on Craigslist and Facebook uh, for like $400. So you've seen the, I don't think the Shaq NBA Jam Cab is going to sell like hotcakes. And I think you'll see that price slashed uh, right down to the $450 mark, $500 mark very quickly after its release. And I think there's a myriad of reasons for that, but the economy is clearly one of them. Uh, we have real bad inflation right now, and that doesn't look like it's going to go away anytime soon. And so it's becoming harder and harder to justify spending uh, the money that these guys want for the limited amount of games on there. There really is a very minimal bang for buck on there. Two. Second reason why I think they might actually do this is that they kind of already do give us a multi-cade experience with these legacy cabs. Now there's too many of any one kind of game on there. I don't need five different versions of Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or Pac-Man, but still they have gone up to the 14 game kind of limit on there. And I think 20 games is really where you can start to call something a true multi-cade experience. Yes, the IRCade only comes with 11 games, but we all know we can add a lot of games onto that system for either free or for not much money. So you can actually end up having hundreds, I think at this point, games on the IRCade. Depending on what version of the AL you get, you get 250 to 300 games on there. And of course, the potentiality of Coin Ops X. Three. Third reason why Arcade 1UP might do this is the fact that their competition is not going to sit still. We already know that iArcade is going to come out with a very sweet looking Gen 2 cab that will probably have a little bit better specs and the ability to add things like steering wheel. Uh, we don't know for sure what um, Ad Games is going to do, if there's ever going to be a true Gen 2 to the ALU or if they'll just keep on tweaking the firmware. Anyway, the LAU is still the king of multi-cades based on the number of games, the screen size, the controller deck being so large and excellent. It really is the only true multi-cade that you can buy that you can get two 200 plus pound people around it comfortably playing. But that's not everything, of course. Some people really need that nostalgia as Arcade 1UP constantly tells us, way cool nostalgia, bro, come and get it. But nostalgia only goes so far when you only have so much room in your arcade or so much money in your wallet. So this is what I think they're gonna do if they ever do it. I think that they would give us a kind of a, a um, 
a flight stick type cab. So they'd give us a Tron cab, maybe even just the Tron cab, but give us more games that take advantage of that sweet flight stick. So they give us the two Tron games, maybe Afterburner, uh, some other games that would uh, be relevant to that, maybe throw in a Star Wars game, but you know, take advantage of some of this hardware that they already have access to and the form factor of some of these taller, bigger games like Tron, put a whole bunch of games that would take advantage of that and they would have a hit. Same thing with like a vertical shooter slash maze type game. Give us Pac-Man, Galaga, Galaxian, uh, give us those style games all on that vertical screen, but give us 20 of them, be able to knock down, like give us a better sampling than we get right now from the legacy cabs, maybe take two or three legacy cabs, kind of take the best of those and give us a true vertical screen cab. And for sure, give us a 19 inch horizontal cab that we could play the beat em ups and the um, fighting games on there. I'll call, you know, call it the beat em up cab give us a slightly bigger form factor in terms of the control deck. Don't give us six Street Fighters or six Mortal Kombat, just maybe one of each of those game. Give us some, you know, some side-scrolling beat-em-ups, give us Turtles in Time, give us a Golden Axe, like throw all of their greatest hits under that cab and people would pay $700 for that all day long. So again, I don't think that this is anything that they are going to do. I just think they could do it, particularly if the economy gets a step worse as we get closer to Christmas. It's only gonna get more expensive to ship stuff from from China to the States and space will become uh, a premium. It's already a premium for a lot of users like me that only have a small amount of area to have their arcade games. And so if you have a couple of pinball games and two or three other games, yeah, you're already starting to max out that space. Well, the same thing is true for cargo containers. They can only hold so many games. So again, if you can kind of coalesce four machines down into two machines or four machines into one machine, and then you know, kind of spread out their lineup over another two or three different machines, that makes a lot more sense both in terms of what people are actually gonna be able to afford and for supply side type issues. What would you guys think? Would you be interested in a 20 game multi-cade from Arcade 1UP or no? Do you, would you rather have like the more like the Dragon's Lair, Shack type approach where you're really only getting two or three different games in that machine, but they're all very, very title type specific or yeah you you would love to have a multi-cade from arcade one up and is that something that you think that they would do let me know what you guys think down below i really do care about what you guys think and of course i do think arcade one up cares what you guys think too particularly when it comes to spending your hard earned cash if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel it does make a big difference check out our show reanimate and our other movies like five must die love each other and until next time i'll see you guys in the game shack Mwah! be sure to visit evilgeniusentertainment.com for exclusive content swag casting call news and much much more